So now let's put together our own string orchestra piece using a four chord progression. So we'll stay in cinematic strings on autoplay number one to record the cello and bass. So let's turn off first and second violins and violas. So we've just got the spotlight on cello and bass. Um, check that your metronome is on, it should be blue. So tap it if you need to, to turn it on. And then let's just practice counting along to the clicks by pressing play. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's add in a clap just after eight and before one. Here we go. A uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay. When you're ready to practice your chord sequence, it's going to be eight beats of C, eight beats of F, eight beats of D minor, and then eight beats of G. Okay, so I'm going to try that along with the clicks now. I'm tapping just after eight and before one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tap one, two, three. So once you've practiced that and you're ready to record, look at the arrow on your ruler guide. It's at number five for me there. So I'm going to tap return, make sure the arrow is back at number one, and then I'm ready to record. So it will be one, two, three, four, tap for C, and then after eight for the other chord changes. Here we go. Two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One. my green recorded section. Remember if you want to re-record just tap return back to number one on the ruler and you can record again. Okay so let's just save what we've recorded now so we'll go up to the file icon in the top left hand corner my song and let's just tap there and let's name it smart strings. Okay, so now we're going to have a wee look at what we've recorded in the tracks view. So go up to the top left hand corner and tap the bricks. And you'll see there your string bass part that you've recorded. Let's come halfway down on the left hand side and swipe out the volume controls for the different tracks. And we're going to mute the, the bass track just now while we record the next track. So tap on the speaker icon on the left hand side. And there your track's gone grey, so you're not going to hear that just now, but it is still there. Then go up to the sound browser in the top left, the big square with the two small squares on either side. And we're going to choose smart strings again to add another string track. Okay, for this track, we're going to use the cinematic strings again, but we're going to use autoplay number four. And we're going to be playing second violins and violas. So let's turn off the first violins, cellos and basses. Okay, so if you want to practice before you record, you can press play and practice along to the clicks. When you're ready, it's the same chord sequence, C for eight, F for eight, D minor for eight, and G for eight. I'll just demonstrate the recording. Two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, four, five, 
section along the top there. Remember to tap return each time you re-record so that your arrow is starting at the start of the ruler. Okay, so now let's go to the tracks view and see both parts together. So the bricks icon up in the top left. And let's unmute that top pizzicato bass and see how the parts sound together. <laughs> one more part for first violins so let's mute to the tracks that we have just now and go up to the sound browser in the top left and choose smart strings again to add another string track and this time we want to use the romantic string so tap up in the top left and choose romantic autoplay one and we only want first violins so we'll turn off everything else and the first violins are going to play that nice legato note over the top of our chord sequence okay so you can practice first just by tapping play and hearing the clicks and when you're ready tap return check you're at number one on the ruler and record Two, three, four, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can hear that's really different. We've got our pizzicato bass, we've got our really rhythmical middle part and then we've got that nice long smooth legato sound on top. So let's go to our tracks view okay let's unmute everything and let's turn off the click track turn off the metronome up at the top there so that should turn white and then we'll just turn the volume of the pizzicato bass up nice and high and we'll take the middle rhythmical part down a wee bit and let's have a listen to that balance <laughs> idea of how you can mix different techniques and textures to make something interesting for orchestra. You could now try making up your own chord sequence and using your own choice of autoplays and be as creative as you like. Well done!